Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jason Klingscales, Sports Scribe at asportscribe.blogspot.com. And it's been quite a while since you've seen me in the video or seen me put up any video of a live action game. But that's what I'm doing for you today. As today, I know a lot of y'all been waiting for me to do a video from the new Yankee Stadium, but that's not coming just yet. Instead, today, you're going to get a video, still here in New York, chat to here in Brooklyn. Keyspan Park, baby. Keyspan Park is home to the uh, single A uh, affiliate for the New York Mets, the Brooklyn Cyclones. This is actually my third visit to the park. Uh, the first time I've been here was shortly after it opened. I actually got on the field in 2003 when I was an intern for a radio station here in the city. And I actually was last year, two years ago. But um, I didn't have any pictures of the, of the park then. Didn't have any videos, but this time I'm going to give you a few. Actually, my longtime partner in crime, Stefan Johnson, who is also a writer for the Amsterdam News, will be joining me shortly. Actually, I'm waiting for his arrival fairly soon, and we're going to take you throughout the park whenever we can. As usual, you'll see some pictures, you'll see a uh, mashup of some of the videos, but hey, we're going to have a lot of fun with this stuff, so uh, stay tuned, enjoy this, and folks, I hope you get to love this park, because I've always enjoyed coming down here, and anybody who ever gets a chance to come down to the city when taking a baseball game, and it's pretty damn cheap. To go to a minor league game nowadays, you want to check this place out, Keyspan Park. So, uh, looking forward to uh, show you some more. See you in a bit. Alrighty folks, the game's about to start and got to our seats. Stefan has kindly finally joined us, but these trains have been murdered lately. So here's a look at this park. You see enough photos to see the outside, you get a little bit of the inside too. I'll be going to trains. Just blame it all on Brooklyn. Yeah. It's all Brooklyn's fault. Well. I even say that. But anyway, you'll see some more as we come along. Alright? Peace. Pretty impressive considering that 
If you go to Major League Park now, you're talking about <laughs> 16 bucks probably doesn't even let you breathe the air in the stadium. So it's a pretty cool aspect about coming to games here. Yeah, it's a far more open uh, Mile League Park. Actually, from the parks I've been to in the past, my Mile League Park's a lot, a lot more open, open air than this, this one is. So that people can walk around and, you know, I've noticed folks kind of coming in, taking a smoke a little bit. I've noticed folks kind of enjoying their food out here and, uh, you know, that aspect is great. Keep it open. I'll show you a little bit more as I uh, walk around the rest of the place. Love by my league baseball. There's nothing but ads back there. All over. Look at that outfield wall. I think the only space you'll see is right there, dead center. By the way, the dimension is the dimension. And 412 to straight center field. Left field is actually 315. And over here on right field is actually 325. You're up here are the party suites as well as the media boxes. And what you're looking at right there are actually the retired uh, numbers of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Not the Dodgers overall, but just the Brooklyn Dodgers. So, keep looking around and they actually have a couple of numbers for some of the cyclones that you made to the majors as well. It's a decent car for Wednesday night, I guess. I mean, I thought there would have been a lot more people, but it turns out that, well, has a lot of uh, events during the area. Uh, you probably, if you look at the video I did from the Prudential Center, um, that was a game early this year. They weren't a whole lot different for that game either, but it turns out because it's Wednesday, people are still thinking of going to work the next day, despite this being a short week, you're not going to have a huge turnout as you usually would, say, if you did a game on Friday or Saturday or even a Sunday. But I can imagine that as this weekend comes along, this being a holiday weekend, you're going to have some very good crowds here. Especially, again, like I said, tickets are as expensive, or the most expensive ticket here was game day 16 bucks where we're sitting. Otherwise, they start at $8. I appreciate little things like this as well. The game is just the center of all the action, I guess. But uh, you can come anywhere and find something going on. A little BP for the kids. A little food for everybody around here. I think more than anything else, this place tries to celebrate. Yes, it's celebrating Brooklyn, but specifically it's celebrating Coney Island. It's history as, you know, amusement destination with um, amusement rides further down the street. And as that history has been sort of being uprooted by some commercial developers looking for, you know, prime real estate, they try to keep as much of that history here as possible. So, again, if you ever get a chance to come in here and you'll kind of get a sense of what Coney Island is, not necessarily Brooklyn. All right, people. Well, we're taking off. Game finally ended. They, uh, the Cyclones, just like their big brother, the Mets, decided to give everybody a little bit of a heart attack, but they actually pulled out the win. But anyway, take it off. I'll give you a little bit more to, uh, to check out with this place uh, once this video puts, is put together. I will add a little text to it so you can see the history of this ballpark. And, um, yeah. Also, there will be a few more posts coming your way, so be on the lookout for those. But thanks for checking this out, and looking forward to doing more of this stuff for you. Stay on scribe, and I will see you later.